Hi everybody! Uh, today I'm gonna try to repair this mouse. Um, let's see what it does first. So let's go test on the Amiga. Okay, so testing the mouse. It's F4 controller ports. And if I move the mouse, it's moving. The left mouse button and right mouse button are working. Yes. But it just wiggles in the middle. Left and right, up and down, same thing. So let's see what we can do about this broken mouse. So let's see inside this little mouse um, and see if we can repair it. I didn't. It didn't cut cost much because it was broken or not working. It seems to be somewhat working but not completely oh there is ah i remember this yes this gunk on this roller so let's try to clean this up i remember i remember doing this on, on my amiga from time to time removing the, the fluff Yeah, let's try to disassemble this and clean it from the clean it a, a little better. Let's clean with some IPA again. Here. And here. And then there's, there's the last last one which is full of fluff <laughs> wow <laughs> okay And then clean up the ball too. You can use dish soap or hand soap or some detergent, not too aggressive. So it should no, it should stick a bit, not be all slippy. So and then let's also clean up the case okay I don't think it's gonna work but let's try it with with the cleaner rollers so same thing this is left and right so it's moving a little bit because I'm, I'm turning the, the wheel right now but up and down as nothing and buttons are still working so let's find out what to do if i remember from a young beta video uh, the receiver or, tra or transmitter uh, those are infrared receiver and transmitter um, between here and here and here and here here and the they detect those small holes inside there the small holes on this wheel so 
So from the uh, video of Jan Bida, um, what I can figure out is that um, the phototransistor can uh, degrade over time and they are also different from factory so they are using resistor values uh, matching the photo uh, the phototransistor which is receiving the light through those little holes from the lead uh, in front i think that all of the leads are good because i've measured them so let's try with the scope <clears throat> to see what levels we are getting out of the phototransistors. So let's uh, let's get ground uh, from here. Say, I think this is a good place. There we go. Then uh, let's uh, so let's see with the scope. If I do, if I turn on the Amiga, then look here. The output of the first phototransistor we got we got about 376 millivolt. And let's look at the second phototransistor down there and okay it's about 336 millivolts and the one on the y-axis is 280 millivolts and the last one is about 248 millivolts so those are the values for this board um, and right now the x uh, axis works but the uh, up and down is uh, choppy so let's uh, let's look at the different voltages and try to improve this so i I'll, i have already changed this one which is about now 2k yeah and it improved uh, the the signal significantly here so this one is uh, that resistor so it's about 800 ohms this one is here about 390 ohms and the last one is down here i think it's about the k so I'm going to replace all of them to 2K resistor and see what we get uh, as for voltages. I think this is an older model. It's a Rev D. And I know that the X axis was working now, so around 350 millivolt is okay. So turn on, then let's look at this one. So now we get about 800 millivolts. Okay, then this one. 1.3 volts and let's and the last one is now yeah almost 500 millivolts so i would like to bring this one up again a little bit so 2k is not high enough yeah i'm gonna change this one to a higher value just to be around the same voltage as the others 800 millivolts or so. so let's take a look in my resistor stash so maybe around 3k yeah 3.3k that would be good uh, i would have liked to replace the 
photo transistor, but <laughs> they are not available. So I need a mouse and changing those resistors seems to do the job. Will it do it for a long time? I don't know. Maybe I will order some photo resistor when they come when they become available again. And then is this the is this the correct one? Or did I misplace something? Yeah, 3.3. .3. Okay. So, to resume what I did, I replaced this resistor here, this resistor here, this one, and this one. And I'm gonna solder this. It seems to be a little... So I've replaced, or if we look in the, uh, on the other side, I've replaced, and let's bring you closer. So I've replaced this one with a 3.3K, this one with a 2K, 2K, and 2K, which are all pull-downs resistors for those four photo transistor or sensor for the light coming out those LEDs here and let's see what we get for voltage now on the last one that I just changed to now I get 600 millivolts which is cur let's say it's it works around 300, so 600 is good, and I have a 800 and a 1.3 and about 800 too. So, and let's clean up our work. It's always a good idea. Remove the flocks. So it's clean. Let's go with this. And let's look at the Amiga again to see if it still works. And I've cleaned, I've cleaned everything. I've cleaned the, clay, the case with some mild soap. Um, so let's try to reassemble this and let's try it with an actual workbench and see if we can move the mouse around easily okay so let's go test this at the testing station Okay, so we now have the workbench and let's try the mouse. Oh yes. Works fine. What workbench do I am using? Uh, 1.0. Okay. Anyway. Seems to work fine. Moving around is, you know, I can do circles. So I think it's working correctly. Yeah, it works now. Works great. I can do circles, which is a good thing. If you can do circles with a, a mouse, I think it's working fine. Cool. I now have a mouse to use in the workbench and cool. So let's see what we did. We uh, so we changed the resistors for the pull down on the photoresistor and get uh, higher voltages and 
it now works great inside the Amiga. So if you have this old mouse, you can use this technique to revive it maybe. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, works, doesn't cost too much. It's now clean, it's even, I think it's really nice. It's a, I still can use a regular mouse, you know. Um, I have uh, I have bought a a small interface that you can use a USB mouse to the Amiga mouse. Same thing with the uh, Commodore 64. But I like to repair th old things uh, or computer things, uh, and <laughs> repairing those old. Uh, computer vintage parts uh, is easier for me because this is an old technology and it's what I learned at school and I like it or maybe I can uh, save some old computers and peripherals I'm happy and it's kind of a Zen thing for me to repair those uh, so that's it so one mouse repaired, we can do more when I receive my accelerator. In the meantime, I think I'm going to do a video about the kickstart. Uh, and that's it. Thank you, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, see you in the next video. Ciao, bye.